Hey YouTube, it's Morgan, aka the Mountaineer. Here's some pictures of the pipe before it was cleaned. Uh, I'm not the best photographer as you can tell, but you can see lots of cake and old dottle and ash in the bowl. Uh, kind of a grimy um, old wax and stuff on the bowl. The stem, as you'll see, kind of dirty. Uh, it's got a little chatter, little divot there. Now, I, this is a more of a cleaning uh, than an actual full refurb, so I didn't try to fill in the, the um, indentations. But you, here you can see, uh, taking the pipe apart, looking at it, that's OxyClean. Put it in a tub of warm water, get it mixed up, and then um, I let the stem soak in there to loose, loosen both oxidation and the... Uh, internal gunk and now I'm reaming the bowl I usually like to whenever I'm cleaning up a pipe I like to ream all the cake out get all the cake out that's just uh, sandpaper wrapped around a pin to try to get it just about down to bare briar I like to start anew and try to get every bit of the or at least as much as possible of the ghosting and prior flavors out of there. Get a little tub of isopropyl alcohol um, and I'm starting to clean up the shank. Um, just use both ends of, of some bristle pipe cleaners. There you see me fold it in half and try to clean there the uh, mortise. Uh, get all around there to clean it up as well. see now skipped ahead a little bit got uh, the pile there of all the pipe cleaners I use use the cotton ball to get it out stuff now there's Murphy's oil soap put it on a cotton pad rub it around on the rim and then let it sit on the rim kind of soak in get the lava and stuff off the rim you can see how dirty that uh, oxyclean and water solution is and then now I'm trying to trying to get a pipe cleaner through the stem had a really hard time for the first few pipe cleaners. Um, there was so much accumulated tars and things like that um, that it was fun. You can see how dirty that pipe cleaner was. Um, but I basically, on those, on both the stumble and the stem, I I'll run pipe cleaners uh, with alcohol, oxyclean, whatever, through until it's. Uh, until they come out pretty clear get a little quadruple watt steel wool and use that to to clean the oxidation off of the stem try to get around there thoroughly one thing I always try to be careful about when cleaning a pipe is getting up to the edge of the stem uh, up toward the tenon I hate to round off uh, the end of the stem there and then you, know, you get a little bit of a variation between the meeting of the shank and the stem. Now you can see how much gunk came off of there. It still wasn't completely clean, so I used a little bit of, a little bit more, a little bit of elbow grease to uh, get the rim pretty clean. Uh, there's another cotton ball with the Murphy's oil soap, and I'm just using that to basically uh, clean up the, clean up the rest of the stumble. You can see the, the Add how much gunk is on there. Uh, it's a pretty dark pipe. Um, some of that was dirt and I think it was just a, a dark stain but there I'm using some alcohol to clean the stumble up a little bit. But try to strip off all the old wax and uh, any dirt, grime, hand, oils from hands that have accumulated. Now I'm getting back in and working more on the pipe or on the stem you can see I kind of work it back and forth in the slot to try to clean it out as much as possible um, I, I had it soaking again in the oxyclean solution for a bit but you can see that nice big pile building up there of all the uh, pipe cleaners cotton balls pads that I've used you can see it's kind of clean it's not uh, cleaned off a good bit um, the stem is a little bit uh, rough looking, not very shiny. 
those are micro mesh pads. Uh, basically, they're different uh, different meshes. It doesn't. I don't know what proprietary system they use, but it doesn't match up to the grits. Don't match up to sandpaper. But basically, I have them in order from roughest to finest grit, and I'm just working my way through uh, through all of them. Go over the go over the stumble a little bit uh, with each of them, and then on the stem. What I do is I'll go all in one direction um, with the micro mesh. Micro mesh, you can see I'm going across the across the stem, and then with the next grit, I'll go uh, up and down, I guess, on the stem. But I basically just alternate directions so that um, so that it takes out the scratches the prior one in a pre in the in a different direction kind of like if you're you know polishing steel polishing a knife something like that using uh using sandpaper or something pick that up watching knife making videos this takes a while i think there are 12 different grits maybe but they're, they're, uh, the micro mesh pads are a really nice thing. It's basically some kind of dense foam with the, the surface on either side. You can see the white in the sandwich between the, the mesh itself. And they're, I think, about two inches square with the corners rounded off. And I just, <laughs> you can tell, that is a salsa bowl. Um, but I just have that, leave them, you know, they're wet, they're good for wet sanding so I just have water sitting in there uh, you know they'll get kind of grimy you can see the brown residue on my hand from the mostly that's oxidation from the stem uh, I just continue through try to get a nice nice shine there working on the button trying to keep the button sharp and you notice that I have the pipe put together again to keep from polishing that junction uh, or sanding, sanding off that junction and having a uh, having the stem recessed from the shank. Last one. I think I sped this up. The majority of this is sped up twice, two two times or to two times the normal speed. You can see kind of level of shine. Uh, and then I export. You can only go up to two times in iMovie, so I sped it up to two times again. So it's four four times sped up. But this is I think what did it say? Dark brown, Phoebe's, uh alcohol based leather dye. Uh, might have been a little bit, yeah, dark brown. Might have little, been a little bit too dark. I probably should have mixed in some tan or something. Uh, you know, you can never quite tell 100% how a stain is uh, going to come out. But just using a regular pipe cleaner doubled in half, I kind of try to get the fuzz off, double it, dip it, and uh, you, gotta, you have to really watch out. That stuff is potent. Here's some... Uh, Put your block wax. You can see it has beeswax, vitamin or <laughs> it said vitamin D, a little bit of carnauba. Put a little thin layer on that, let it soak in a little bit, and then buff it off with a microfiber cloth. And that just kind of soaks soaks a little bit into the into the briar, kind of livens it up a little bit. So I have the stain on, little butcher blocks, and there you can see Paragon Wax. Uh, that's Paragon and the Halcyon 2 are uh, waxes made specifically for hand applying to pipes if you don't have a buffer or anything like that. So I'm applying a thin coat to everything, let it dry for a few minutes, and then you buff it off and then just hand buff it with... Uh, um, microfiber towel it's not I mean it's not as effective obviously as using an actual buffer with like triple E carnauba all that stuff but um, it's 
I don't know how well you can tell, but it's certainly a lot better than just leaving it as is. So here I'm doing a salt treatment, shove a pipe cleaner down the stem into the bowl, fill the bowl with kosher salt. I use these syringes to, to uh, apply, more accurately apply the isopropyl alcohol, but I basically fill up the bowl uh, with the alcohol until you can see it wetting there. And then I wet the stem to keep it from soaking up as much, left it overnight. You can see how much gunk is in there, how dirty the stem is. Uh, it usually forms a little crust and I guess all that gunk always just floats to the top. This uh, salt underneath is always clean, using some alcohol to get the extra uh, salt and stuff out of there. I did a little more, a little more cleaning on everything before this, or before, uh, you can see the final coat of, um, Paragon. But again, just apply it all over, including the stem. Uh, it's kind of an, kind of an interesting solution. It's kind of some weird gritty wax stuff in a in an oil or something, uh, but you just let it sit and dry again for about five minutes or so, and then buff it off, and you'll see me uh, doing kind of kind of a final polish here. I take it apart and put a little bit on the stem just to help it soak there into the into the mortise and expand that just to make a slightly tighter uh, joint there and also to, to lubricate it so it's tight but easy to take in and out. Here's the final polish and there's the final product. Uh, again it's a little dark um, so you can't exactly tell. It's not the it's not back to 100% but it's certainly 100% uh, smokable. So here you can see pictures, the improvement, the stem is so much, uh, so much cleaner um, and, and shinier. Got the rim back in better shape. Overall this pipe was very dirty, but it was in good condition other than the chatter on the stem. Uh, I didn't see any internal problems, but guys, thanks for tuning in.